All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushah, Bashem Rakak with Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shish Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, I want to go on this topic of plausible deniability. Okay, um, let me see. Let me see if any definition pop up for this. Okay. Plausible deniability means being able to cast enough doubt over your culpability that it cannot be ascertained. It is generally used by governments running military black ops or Companies engaged in co corporate espionage to avoid the legal and political consequences of illegal or legally ambiguous actions. Okay, that's not the definition I wanted. Okay, it, it says plausible deniability is the ability of people to deny knowledge of or responsibility. For any damnable actions committed by others in an organizational hierarchy because of a lack of evidence that can confirm their participation. Even if they were personally involved in or at least willing, willfully ignorant of the actions. Okay. So um, basically plausible deniability is when someone feels as though that because they deny knowledge of a certain action that may be wrong when it comes down to the truth, okay, because that's what I'm applying it to, they, they feel as though that they can deny knowledge, okay, that's inside the scriptures because they have this, if, it, if you don't know, it won't hurt you type of mindset, okay? Um... So they feel as though that they won't be held accountable for those actions, okay? And, um, you know, a, a lot of people have this, um, what's the word, um, you know, the Lord knows my heart. When the Lord, um, when it's time for, for them to be judged, okay, for the things that they did, um, that they will be able to, to, to tell the, the Lord, Hey, I didn't know that this was the truth or not. You know? I I I I wanted to listen, but I didn't want to listen, you know? And that's what plausible deniability is because you you don't know whether you whether it's the truth or not. So you don't want to get deep into it because you don't want you don't want to uh, go the wrong way, you know? Basically, ignorance, okay? And um Ignorance is not what people, um, what you have been taught in uh, school, man. Okay. Um, this is uh, the definition of ignorance. The state or fact of being ignorant, lack of knowledge, education, or awareness. Okay. Destitute of knowledge or education. Lack in knowledge or comprehension of the things specified, resulting from or sowing lack of knowledge or intelligence. Okay. So, before I go into some scriptures, you see what the etymology say about ignorance. Okay. Lacking wisdom or knowledge, being unaware. Okay, so some people think that just because you're unaware, which is the plausible deniability, that you won't be held accountable for being unaware of what you're not aware of. Okay? Um, not to know, to be unacquainted, mistake, misunderstood, take no notice of, pay no attention to. Okay? And, um... That's what happens when people walk up and down the street, you know, while we out here street teaching. 
because they don't want to um they don't uh, want to know they would rather remain ignorant you know they'll listen they'll formulate their own opinion okay about what we say and everything like that especially when they come up to, to ask, ask questions they're not asking questions you know nine times out of ten if they um want to get the, the, the answer they're asking questions because they want to um they, they feel as though that they already know the, the answer to that question before they even um ask it you know they're not asking in a uh, genuine in a genuine manner okay this is uh Hosea 4 and 6 my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge okay it's being ignorant okay now let me get this scripture one of the knowledge okay for for y'all people for the Lord's people okay is this Isaiah 1 and 3 it says the ox knows his owner and it as his master's crib but Israel does not know Israel is, is uh, ignorant okay my people doth not consider okay the word consider is by by yon okay discern understand consider to perceive discern which discern goes back to judgment okay being used in proper judgment to understand know with the mind to observe mark give heed to distinguish consider it says to have discernment insight understanding to be discerning intelligent discreet have understanding uh it says to show oneself discerning or attentive considerately consider diligently to teach instruct prudent regard okay um of a definition it says uh to separate mentally uh or distinguish it says uh generally understand attend consider be cunning diligently direct discern eloquent feel inform instruct have intelligence know look well to mark perceive be prudent regard can skillful teach think cause make to get give have understand deal wisely okay and when we go out there and we teach okay these are all good words you know i love going into synonyms myself but when we um when we teach you know a lot of our people don't consider or or, or wanna wanna understand what we talk about you know when we when we say things you know we try to break it down in the simplest form you know so that anybody you know uh, a, a child can get it you know a newcomer can get it and, and and be and understand but that's the thing the only ones that's meant to get it are the elect okay um this is uh romans um 11 and 7 uh what then israel has not obtained that which he's seeking for because a lot of people don't know what they're not seeking for the truth you know they don't consider it but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded these people out here that don't think or, or wonder what, what we're talking about especially here at great millstone because they 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 ref uh, it says because thou has rejected knowledge okay because they would rather be ignorant to to this knowledge they they would rather reject it because they they don't um know whether it's the truth or not okay they would rather be blinded and they don't know where they're going at okay but a, me a member of the elect the ones that the lord chose to get this when they walk down the street and they hear this or they watch a video and they hear it 
automatically they obtain it, they understand what this is what this word word is about. Okay? Because it's meant for them. Okay? It says the rest were blinded. They they just, you know, they don't know where they're going at. It says, I will also reject you because you want to use this plausible deniability. The Lord is going to reject you that you shall be no priest to him. To, to, it says that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law, law of thy God, I will also forget your children. Okay? And these people out here, they don't, they don't have no foundation. Okay? These people, some people think that that money is the foundation. Some people think that their children are the foundation or that their, their woman that they have is the, the foundation. But all of that stuff can get wiped away. Okay? But then, here, here you go. You got these people that reject knowledge. Okay? But they want to sit up there and they want to um sit up there and try to tell you what God is. And, you know, they'll say God knows my heart and all that. You know? Well, I'm going to get this. It's in the book of uh, Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah. Seventeen and nine. The heart is deceitful above all things. Okay, and your heart is your mind. Laab in the Hebrew and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So the Lord don't want to know your wicked, wicked heart. He knows that it's wicked. You know. So, so um, you people who, who think that you know the Lord and you ain't trying to get this knowledge. You you see, cause us. At Great Millstone, and I'll speak for myself, for example, you know, when it comes down to real knowledge, I'm all for learning that, man. You know, but but when it comes to, uh, you get to the nitty gritty about, you know, what, what things are, are profitable onto you and stuff like that. You know, I can sit up there and I can learn all these different ways and, and still gather the truth, whether it's the truth or not. You know, and it takes spiritual discernment to, to be able to understand that, okay? And, and a major spiritual discernment is, is prophecy, okay? Which means to say before, okay? This is um Ephesians 4 and 17. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. Because if you don't want to admit, okay, that you're an Israelite, okay? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're, you're a Gentile, okay? In the vanity of their mind. You, so the things the, and thoughts that come to your mind is worthless. It's as <coughs> having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. So, so the fact that you don't feel as though that you don't know what, or the fact that you feel as though that you don't know what the truth is, you rather be alienated from, from God and lean on your own understanding in order to think that what you, the, the, what you got and the way that you're living is what's going to make the Lord happy. That's not how things go. It says because of the blindness of their heart, you don't know what you, what you, what you're trying to achieve. What's your, what's your goal in life? Everything that you got and that you received, you got it from a man. Them man-made philosophies. But then you ask some of them that will sit up there and say, how do you even know that the Bible is the truth? Well, that's why we go into prophecies, man. But you people won't even let us bring out the prophecies. Because y'all think that y'all are the priests. The Lord knows your heart. So all of that plausible deniability, which you're basically a scoffer, Okay, when it comes down to the truth, or or, or, or simple-minded uh, nigga or nigga woman, you know, or, or two-third nigga or nigga woman, you know, basically two-third niggas. Uh, I'm talking about all the all the uh, you you uh, Israelites, man. Y'all gonna have to, to 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 pay for being ignorant. Okay, this is what the scriptures say. Uh, Acts 17 and 30. And the times of ignorance, God winked at. Okay, so 
um, when you come into this truth, you know, the Lord, um, and when he wake you up, you wink at, wink at your, 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 um, your ignorance. Okay. And, and the things that we did before, but now things have changed. It says, but now, because the, 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 the truth is, is out there. Okay. The, the, at first it wasn't, you know, prevalent. Um, what the name of the Lord was and the, and the Lord revealed to, to, um, to his servants, um, his name. Okay. Um, he set forth his men last. Okay. And I'm going to get that, um, right now. It's, uh, act, I mean, first Corinthians four and nine, for I think that God had set forth us, the apostles last. As it were appointed to death. Because a lot of these people out here, they don't really believe what they believe. And they're not willing to die for what they believe. Okay? It says, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. So this is one way how you can see who the men, real men are. Okay? That the Lord set up. Because after all the confusion that's in this world. Okay? Now it's time for the, the Lord to send his men to play the clean up game. Game. Okay? It says, we are fools for Yahweh's sake, but you are wise in Yahweh's side. You know, because you people think that, you know, what y'all been taught is the right way, but it's not. It says, we are weak, but we are, but you are strong. You are honorable, but we are despised. Even at this present hour, we both hunger. And you have people out here that, um, you know, actually, um, think, you know, why should we serve the Lord, man? You know why? Why? Why do we have to um, uh, fear the Lord? Basically, you know, who is he that that we must uh, do these things? You know, um, I believe that's in Malachi, the fourth chapter, not probably the third. Um, Malachi, uh, three and six, for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not co consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances. Okay. The order that the Lord set up and have not kept them. Return unto me and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But you said, where and shall we return? I already know the Lord. Why should I, why should I return unto the Lord? I already know the Lord. Right? Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, where and have we robbed you in tithes and offering, offerings? Y'all go to that church and y'all put that money in that collection plate. When it's Easter, you know what's that's about to come up, that wicked uh, day, you know? Um... It says, uh, Malachi 3 and 13, your words have been stout against me, said the Lord, yet you say, where, where have we spoken so much against you? Because y'all speak against the Lord. Y'all don't want to hear his word. That's plausible deniability. Okay. It says, you have said it is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? Because that's what the men, men of the Lord are going to be doing. Okay, and now we call the proud happy. Yeah, they that work wickedness are set up. Yeah, they that tempt God are even delivered. So y'all think, oh, just because a man has money or you know they eating good, then they that the, the Lord must be dealing with them. But yet, what this scripture say? Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked. And buffet it and have no certain dwelling place. Because we got to have faith, man. Okay? In order to serve the Lord. And labor working with our own hands. Being reviled, we blessed. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world. And are the offscouring of all things unto this day. And you got to know, most people, they don't want to go through this hole. In order to... to, to um. You know, actually be a man of the Lord or a woman of the Lord. They don't want to have to to be humbled. You know, they want to, they want theirs right now. And it's like, okay, well, 
traditions you're having, enjoy it. The scripture said that this world was made for many, but the world to come for few. Okay. So uh, it's, it says at the times of ignorance, God winked at, you know, and that's before, you know, the Lord set up his men now. It says, but now commands all men everywhere to repent. Okay. All men. And what's that all men? Matthew 10 and 6, but go rather to the house, lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay. So we're supposed to be telling people to repent, man. Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Okay. We're in the end days. This is the end time. It says, because he has appointed a day, that, that end time, okay, into which he will judge the world in righteousness. And right now, you know, the, 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 um, the scriptures um, speak about uh, the times that we in. Okay, Romans uh, 13 and 11. And knowing and that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay, so World War Three is ramping up. Okay, there's a lot of prophecies going on right now. The market of beasts is around the way, around the corner. You know, the missiles are about to get set off, man. And, and the Lord is going to make his return. It says, by that man, um, it says, and to which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained. Whereof he has given assurance unto all men, and that he has raised him from the dead. Okay? And that we have the records. We have the records here, you know, through the scriptures, you know, that Yahweh Shah, okay, the one who the world ignorantly really calls Jesus, um, was resurrected from the dead, man. Okay? But like I said, you got some people that say, oh, that's just a book, you know? It's like, no, nah, I mean, the, the, this book is speaking about prophecies, man. Okay? And a lot of prophecies have come to pass, man, and are still coming to pass. Okay, Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and you fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Here, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my mouth, my lips, shall be right things. And that's what we speak, man. Okay, at Great Millstone, we speak the right things, man. We speak what's inside the Bible. For my mouth shall speak truth. We speak the truth. Okay? And what's, what's, what's the truth according to the scriptures? This is of Psalm 119 and 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Okay? What's the first what's the first law, man? Okay, loving loving the Lord with all your heart, man. Okay? That's the first law, but you people are breaking that law, okay? Y'all y'all think that y'all love the Lord, but y'all don't. It says, "And wickedness is an abomination to my lips." When we tell people, "Hey, stop sleeping with, with other men's women." Okay? As a man, you got to stop sleeping with the scriptures say unto you, O men, Okay, it's a wicked thing to be sleeping with another man's woman, you know. But but ain't no ain't no plausible deniability in that. But you you niggas do that shit, you know, like it's nothing. The woman throwing throwing the coochie at you, oh, you know, it, it is what it is. But it's like you know, you you people are wicked, man. That's why the Lord got to destroy you, man. You know. You 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 back up that type of stuff, you know. It says, "Uh, all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them." When we say that the Lord is going to destroy people, okay, that's the truth. When it's, when we say that the Lord is the one who puts little children to death, that's the truth. That's not a perverted thing, you know. When we when we uh give the, the the legal age of consent to to when a woman is a woman and when a boy is a man, you know that's the truth, man. Not what the so called white man sits up there and say that that it is, okay. But what the Bible says that it is, what what nature says that it is, man. 
Okay? But you you people will believe that whatever the, the white man throw in your face, you'll believe that shit. It says they are all plain to him that understands and right to them that find knowledge. Because knowledge is right in front of your face, but you guys still find that, man. Okay? Continuing on 1 John 1 and 4. I mean, 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit. So we're not saying, yo, just because we hold a Bible that you're supposed to just believe us, right? It says, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone into, out into the world. Hey, and you got some guys that may be in Great Millstone that may be some false prophets. But you, that don't mean that the whole Great Millstone is, is off, you know? It's a lot of, it's a lot of, the, the doctrine of Great Millstone is the truth, man. It's a lot of guys out here that, that are faking the funk, you know? But if you come in into this thing and you allow a, a a a man to get you off of the path of of serving the Lord, then then you or or a woman, then you you really wasn't sincere about the Lord in the beginning, man. Okay, but but we ain't saying just because we hold a Bible and we telling you these things to just believe us off of you know off the rip, you know. But but like we said, like as the scriptures say. You know, when we when we speak, we speak the truth, man. You know? And how do you know what, what's the truth? Okay, Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? So dare unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Just because you don't want to believe you have that you think you have plausible deniability, that don't mean that what we're saying ain't the truth. Okay, it says, God forbid. Yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar. And what how you how you gonna tell whether we uh, are telling the truth or not. You go back to the scriptures and you see for yourself, okay, that we're telling the truth. When we break down these prophecies and we bring them, you got to admit there ain't nobody out here that's doing what we do and how we do it, okay? Because the men of Great Millstone, they're the best at what they do, okay? And that's bringing out that word. The elect of, of, of the Lord, they're going to bring out that word, man. Okay, it says, as it is written, that thou mit, mit, mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay, so so you wanna you wanna keep this word what's inside these scriptures, cause these this Bible ain't gonna lead you the wrong way, man. Y'all about to me outside if you a man of the Lord, he ain't gonna lead you the wrong way, man. Okay, and this is the last scripture, Proverbs twenty two and three. A prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself. Okay, how do you hide yourself in your house and your outside, man? But the simple pass on and are punished. Okay, so all you people that walk by don't want to listen to what we say. Okay, because y'all don't probably don't like the message, or you know, how do you you don't know whether or not we got the right message or whatever the case may be. You being simple minded, that's gonna get you punished. Okay. And and when it's time for you to, you know, stand before the Lord and um, your whole life is played out before you and you see the, the, the times that you may have walked past a camp and the things that you have done wrong, okay, the, the, the fact that the Lord sent his men and you ain't want to listen. Because at the end of the day, everybody is going, all, all the, 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 the Israelites, okay, they're going to know this truth, okay? They're going to they're gonna be able to get the, 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 the opportunity to hear this truth, okay? The, the elect is going to get it, okay? And that's what the Lord really cares about. But when it's said and done, you people ain't going to be able to say that y'all didn't get the opportunity to hear it, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, this was uh, edifying. I want to say, uh, Salawam.